In this video, we are going to create a MySQL data source connection in IBM Cognos BI admin panel. And yes, finally, it is completed. This is Nayang Sangpi, and thanks for tuning in. Be them all. In this video, okay, for this, uh, I'm at IBM Cognos BI admin console, and I'm on configuration tab my data source connection is selected and i'm going to create a new connection here okay and i'm going to uh, name it let's say my sql connection and then i'm going to click on next okay now database type in database type my sql option is not available so how to connect or how to create a mysql database connection for this we are going to use odbc okay then we are going to click on next here we need to provide a odbc data source name how to create a odbc data source for this you need to open control panel i am going to open control panel again okay and then i am going to click on administrative tools and then i am going to select data source odbc when i'm going to open this now we have two options one is user dsn or system dsn generally we create a data source in system dsn so this dsn connection visible to all user okay so i created a connection mysql so i already created two connections here for mysql with two different drivers let me show you how to add a new connection for this you need to click on add and then you need to select your driver type so i'm going to select mysql odbc 5.3 ansi driver and then i'm going to click on finish then we need to provide a data source name so i'm going to provide mysql ansi i'm going to type my sql db connection or let's say my sql connection in this in description field i'm going to paste it the same the server our my sql server is hosted on same machine so i'm going to type local host localhost is online it is running so i'm going to type localhost here the port is default port i am not going to change the port then we need to provide our user password information and then i'm going to type my password database pass uh, database password for this user and then i'm going to select my database test our connection is successful okay okay and then i'm going to use this newly created connection or this newly odbc connection in ibm cognos admin panel for this i'm going to click on configure if you want to edit the old connection then you need to click on configuration i'm going to copy this connection name and then i'm going to open ibm cognos admin panel and then i'm going to paste it okay that's it uh, no authentication because our username and password is already available in our odbc connection okay and then we are going to test the connection whether it is working or not test and it is failed so let me quickly copy this not bad okay our ibm cognos service is not able to access our this odbc database connection okay i am not sure why this is happening because we created a system dsn so it must be available for you all user let me show you one more thing uh, i'm going to open services.msc 
okay and here i am going to show you the ibm cognos business intelligence service okay it is right now running so i'm going to right click and i'm going to select properties okay and here is the logon information logon is local system account okay so most probably this local system account able to access this system dsn but unfortunately our this account is not able to access mysql connection now what is the alternative okay uh, or any work around so i am going to change the account for ibm cognos business intelligence services so i am going to click on this account and then i am going to provide the admin i am going to provide my user information it's uh, windows 7 vm i'm going to click on check names and then i'm going to click on ok and then finally we need to provide password for this account okay and next time we are going to restart ibm cognos services then ibm cognos services is going to use this account so let me first click on apply so the new login name will not take effect until you stop and restart the services. Yes, I know this. So I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to click on General tab and then I'm going to click on Stop. Close. And let me close this. So I can check the latest status by clicking by right clicking on the service and then I'm going to click on Refresh. It is still stopping so we need to wait in the meantime i'm going to share information about all the softwares which i install to use mysql okay so first the software i install is so let me go and minimize everything so this is one software i downloaded from official mysql site it's mysql installer community edition 5.7.19 and the size is around 378 MB before executing this exe you need to ensure that visual studio uh, distribution 2003 is available in your machine because without visual studio distribution your mysql installation is going to be failed so this is the second file uh, we dist distribution underscore 86 i am using mysql 30 uh, i am using mysql 32 bit installation so that's why i use this one if you want to install mysql 64 bit edition then you need to install vcd distribution underscore 64.exe then i also downloaded the mysql connector odbc okay uh, if this is not installed in your operating system then you are not able to see mysql drivers okay so if you want to connect on mysql using odbc then you must need to install mysql connection uh, mysql connector odbc okay now i am not able to share the download url for this because uh, whenever you are trying to install or if whenever you are trying to download all these files you must need to you must have a oracle account so let me so here i am the this is download mysql installer page and you need to click on this file and when you are going to click on this download you are going to redirect on login page but I think I already authenticated so my files are download download is started for me because I already log in. Okay, uh, so this is about what files I downloaded from mysql.com and Microsoft. So what are the important files? Uh, of course, mysql installer, Visual Studio redistribution uh, 2013. 32 bit or 64 bit based on your mysql installation and uh, mysql 
odbc connector so i hope uh, it is available i'm not sure where is the download link okay i'm going to share the download link ah here here it is mysql connectors and we need to download odbc driver for mysql and let's hope our services are now stopped so let me click on refresh yes it is stopped and now i'm going to start it again again it is going to take some time okay so at the time of so this is my fresh installation for mysql so i created a sample database create a mysql test and inside this i created a sample table tbl test with one record in it and we are trying uh, we are going to use this to test our mysql connection okay uh, so i hope our services are started now right click refresh for the status still starting so finally our uh, services are up and running so let me go and again open the Cognos administrator portal. I'm going to refresh it again. Okay, I'm going to click on configuration and then I'm going to select data source connection. I'm going to click on new data source connection and let's say I want to create. Uh, where are we? Uh, I want to select. Okay let me cancel this let's try to access this next uh, i want odbc next my sql connection uh, no authentication click on test the connection test it and it is failed again oh my god so what we are going to do we are going to use user dsn for this so let me quickly create a user dsn for you it is the steps are same to If you are able to see all the database, it means your connection is working fine. No need to click on test button. Okay. So let me try this. Close. Uh, close. And this time I'm going to use user DSN. Its name is MySQL connection 2. And I don't want to provide any authentication details. Click on test. And yes. Finally, it is completed. Now, what I did during this uh, testing, first I created a, okay. so what I did during this testing, let me show you again. Okay, so previously our services are running using local system account. So I am using, I am assuming that local system account are able to access system DSN. So first I created a system DSN. I created a system DSN and I tested it. It is not work. Then I created or I changed the logon account. And then I, I then again I tried. I assume that uh, this account have administrator privileges. So maybe this account able to access this connection but again it is failed last I tried to create a user DSN and in using user DSN it is worked normally user DSN is not preferred so normally user DSN is not preferred but in such scenario you can use it finally we created uh, finally we use user DSN okay uh, so our connection is just tested successfully so let me quickly close it and let me uh, close finish and just to complete our testing let's test 
this connection in framework manager or query studio i think i'm going to open report studio uh i'm going to use any packages because i'm going to use sql so fm is not required I'm directly going to test this with sql connection so i want a blank report nothing else uh cancel i don't want to cancel Okay, and finally I'm going to click on query subject. I want to create a new query. I'm going to create a query. I'm going to write a SQL for this and data source. Uh, okay. The data source I'm going to use my SQL. And we are going to write a SQL statement and select a star from I think TBL test is the sql or database table name yes it is work perfectly click on ok and then in query yes it is working fine let's uh okay so we are able to connect okay so all this is not required why i'm doing this uh, i don't know and then i'm going to quickly go on tools and then oh sorry uh, we are going to click on run and then we are going to click on view tabular data okay finally we have our data in our reports so i hope you enjoyed this video